What's up, everybody? It's Ryan Donnelly from RyanD.com. Uh, check out CompSupport.com for stress, relaxation, immune, and sleep support products. In today's video, I'm going to touch on a quote from George S. Patton, and his quote is, success is how high you bounce after you hit bottom. Now, this, today was the first day I've ever read this quote, and I read quotes every single day, um, pretty much every single day for the past eight plus years because I gained motivation from them. I've read the same ones over and over and over again. Um, but that's where I draw a lot of my motivation from and have for years and years. Because I feel like when you have people that are successful, they're happy with their life, they've accomplished great things, it's very good to listen to those people and hear their train of thought because usually it's not the, the, the mainstream way of thinking. Because if they were mainstream, they would do what everybody does, and that's just be on the planet and not actually accomplish much. Um, so I'm a huge fan of, uh, of quotes. And this George S. Patton quote, for some reason, maybe I've read it, but it never really um, struck me. It never, bounced, it never like stood out until today. And I read it, and I was thinking about it, and it is so true, especially when it comes to recovery. Because, you know, most people do hit rock bottom. Um, and then they search for, and, or not even really search, they fight their way through it and do whatever it takes to make themselves the opposite of what they were. And in most cases, the opposite of what you were is extremely successful. Because you were not successful. You were at the pits of hell. And I can relate, 100%. When I was at my worst... I had no reason to live anymore. Um, not even a little bit. Couldn't think of any reason. I felt like I was a drain on everyone around me. No one trusted me. And all I did was cause pain to everyone, <clears throat> including myself, but more so everyone else. Um, I was very selfish and I wasn't doing any good. Okay, so when you get to that point, and you fight, you hit your rock bottom, whatever it is, it could be different for everyone. Sometimes you don't even have to hit a rock bottom. But for this particular quote, he talks about bottom. When you hit that bottom, there's nowhere else to go but up. Because otherwise you're going to be dead. Okay, so the absolute worst bottom possible I can think of is dying. Now if you've come close to death, you've OD'd, um, you know exactly how low it could possibly go. So if you look at it from the perspective of, I've already gone to this point and I've survived, there's got to be a reason, or I, I'm strong enough to make it through the hardest point anyone has ever gone through um, with, with drugs, is in, and that's ODing. Um, and if you can turn your life around, you can you know, look at it from a perspective of, all right, I've been at the bottom, now I want to go to the top. You can, because you've been at the bottom, okay? Not everyone can get there, okay? And <clears throat> me, personally, like I always draw for myself and try to share, I'm the type of person that whenever I do anything, I do it to an extreme. And it could be anything, all right? Um, I try not to, and this is funny, I try not to play games with people because I am an asshole when it comes to games. Even, you know, in sports in high school, I was a, you know, a standout athlete in varsity and, and pretty much everything. Um, I was MVP of the basketball, like, you name, basketball player, yeah, 5'8" thought I was gonna go somewhere but I was very good at sports because I had such a no quit mentality I was a fighter I've always been a fighter and a lot of you can relate to this so when it comes to like games for instance I was gonna play ping pong I was with some friends they're all talking shit to each other they're playing ping pong and I'm doing my best to sit there and just shut up and not play because I know as soon as I play no one's gonna like me <laughs> And that's exactly what happened. I got the I got the, the the paddle in my hand, and you know, I'm close to throwing the paddle across the room um, when I when I miss a uh, a ball or whatever, just because I have that you know that fight fighting instinct, and I can't lose. I hate losing. It's not that I'm a sore loser. Is that when I'm in the midst of combat or in the midst of of playing a game, I give it everything I have, including my mental well being. All right, so a lot of you can relate to this. When it comes to using, you used all the way with everything you had. It didn't matter what got in your way. You were gonna do whatever it took to get whatever you needed. 
And when it comes to that type of person, if you can switch your whole mindset when you get clean, that nothing's gonna stop you from staying clean, first of all, because that's most important, because you're not gonna be worth shit if you keep going back. And two, nothing's gonna stop any goal that you set, set out to, be, to do. Now obviously you gotta keep your goals somewhat um, realistic. It's not like you can set a goal that I'm gonna fly, okay, because that's just not realistic. But if you set a goal of, you know, I want to stay clean for a year, okay, get, get a year under my belt, I want to um, get my credit score up, I want to pay the money I owe people, I want to be happy, legitimately happy. I don't want to care about what the hell anyone thinks about me because that's true happiness when you stop caring what people think. If you can do those five things in one year, you're going to be soaring, okay? Because then, you know, everything else, just like using, when you use or you pick up just one bag or one pill and you're like, I could do just one, it snowballs into shit. The same thing happens with positive stuff. If you start doing the right thing every day, it'll start to snowball and things and opportunities will just start getting thrown at you and you will just be overwhelmed at a point of happiness being like holy shit what the hell held me back for so long from getting clean what the hell was I so scared of life is damn good now you hear me say this now while you're still in the midst of it and you're going this guy's full of shit life is not good because I was there I know the way you're thinking I tell this story to a lot of people Jeep Wranglers used to have the tire covers in the back that some people would have and say life is good. And I would legitimately want to pull up to the person, rip them out of the car and beat them up. And ask them what is so good about life. That's where my head was. I was so lost in depression, hated myself, started taking it out on other people when I was the problem, all right? Life is damn good, okay? But you have to do what it takes to get yourself in that place and it's only up to you. No one else is gonna be able to get you there. They can give you the you know, formula. I can talk to you every day. But unless you actually implement the things every single day and really, 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 really want it, you're gonna be miserable the rest of your life. However long that you decide that's gonna be, okay? So, <clears throat> success is, now I forgot the damn quote. But I said it in the beginning of the video. Success is, how high you bounce after bottom, something like that. But you guys get the, you guys get the, the point. I just totally fumbled that up, but I'm human, okay? Um, that's it for today. I want you guys to, uh, if you do one thing, you take one thing from me, try to stay positive and try to find something each morning, okay? The first thing you do, first thing you do usually is go to the bathroom, that's what I do, keeping it real, but then, I sit down on my laptop, I get up at like five o'clock in the morning and I look at quotes, I put music in my ear. I'm not gonna say what kind of music it is because a lot of you have different um, genres that you like. Whatever is your taste that gets you going in the morning, do it, okay? But find something that you can do each morning that doesn't take a lot of work because if it does take a lot of work, you're not gonna stick to it but something that'll get you motivated every morning to start your day in the right direction, all right? Whether that's reading quotes, listening to music, um, meditating, doing some exercise, um, whatever it takes, okay? Because you get one life, one life, and don't waste it, all right? I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one.